Hello, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we are at Galena Station uh, around Duna. Got Ike in the background. We're currently mining Ike, get resources. We're going to bring those resources here to Galena Station where we'll drop off the ore. The ore will be converted into fuel and the fuel will be used back and forth to the surface of Duna, uh, collecting more science. Uh, I've got both ships finally docked. Uh, I've um, moved some fuel around so these outside tanks are empty and the inside tanks will help us uh, slow down the first mission to the surface uh, where we will jettison after it's empty we'll jettison it and then just continue using the lander ascent modules the same thing uh, both ships will do that in case we have one down one one up here uh, let's see I have got the scientists working they are producing 13 science per day uh, so far we've got a hundred and five uh, science to be transmitted back which is pretty good uh, a lot of the science that was in here was um, high above Duna or on the way to the on the way to Duna maybe over the Sun so they dropped it off I think I've got all of them put in here what I noticed was yeah I got 14 stored in here what I noticed didn't have a command pod anywhere you can't just click on it and move science experiments so I just had a scientist uh, or a pilot get the data and bring in all the reports, science experiments, bring them up here, drop them off inside here. So they are on the station in case these two guys are gone to the surface. We can still refill the um, laboratory. Okay, let's go over to the MUN, which, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ike, which is right back here. Ike. Take a look at our mining equipment. Okay. Now, uh, this is a kind of like a two-part piece here it's two parts of course you got the um, the transfer to take ore from the surface out into orbit and then down to Duna's low orbit to the Galena station then it will leave Galena come back uh, orbit around Ike and land once again here uh, it takes about 1500 Delta V to get back. Uh, it takes about a thousand Delta V to get to Duna. Uh, but to come back and land takes about 1500 Delta V. Um, I do not fill this all the way up. I'll probably have it about halfway up. But if you'll notice, I've got four radiators here trying to cool everything off. One here, one here, and here and over there. I don't have a whole lot of solar panels, which that's my mistake. I am on Duna, I mean on Ike, which is out at Duna, a little further away from the sun. We're not getting 100% flow. So let me kind of turn this on. Uh, electric charge right now is building back up. Uh, it says 7,667. But if I was to turn this other drill on, I've got one drill working. I've got one drill working. If I turn this other one on, then we start losing battery power. We're at 779, 78, 77, you see. So, I mean, it's good. It'll last a while. But, uh... And I have an RTG down here. I've got an RTG. 
right there to give it some power but I just did not think that I wouldn't have enough to run two uh, on Kerbin, yeah, you know, during tests and everything, yeah, but not out here. As long as it's hooked to the, uh, as long as it's hooked to this, it's fine. But sometimes I'll, uh, when I'll leave, we'll break this apart. He'll drive out from underneath. Um, I'll drive out from underneath. He'll take off to go to orbit, and he can continue drilling. But he can only fill up these two small tanks. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll have him fill up a tank. And then I'll have it convert it. Store it in here. So we'll have a little bit stored. Until this goes back. Very um, inefficient operation here. Taking forever. But we don't have anything but time out here. So... Um, yeah, so far so good. We've landed in the central mountain range. Uh, you can do things like, uh, yeah, I landed at Ike's central mountain range. So, uh, and you can see the temperature uh, getting red on those um, radiators. Go ahead and start a little bit of this. As long as I keep it, you know, it's going to drop down to 98. But if I come back ever so often, check on it, we can still get a good. Uh, we're out of work, so I'll stop that. It's using a lot of battery. So, what I might do is bring additional. Another coupling here, maybe. I don't know, with the RTG or maybe some solar panels. I think solar panels would be fine. It has to be mobile because when I land this with 1500 Delta V coming back from Duna, when I land it, I only have like, what was it? About 300 Delta V to try to get it. I landed about a kilometer away. I was on a hill and I thought, I'm not going to drive this over there. So. I launched again and brought it over just a little bit closer. I think he had to drive. He was down here somewhere. He's like 80 meters away. So uh, It takes the full 1500 to get this in a good position. Um, I'll get better with landing maybe. but um, Yeah, so far so good. Uh, these engines may not be the right efficiency to take ore back and forth from Ike down to Duna because you get down to Duna and you have to stop you have to you know, slow down to get in orbit and rendezvous these engines may not be as efficient so I'm just kind of I'm playing with the idea of this will go into the orbit of Ike and drop off the ore then we'll have another ship with a nuclear engine which only uses liquid fuel it only uses liquid fuel, so that's that much more oxidizer we can put at Galena Station. Yeah, we'll have to make more liquid fuel, but that's what your converter is for. You can just make liquid fuel if you need to. So, yeah, just uh, this is, it's not a bad design. I mean, it works. And I am fulfilling contracts. So I think we have to drill 500 or off of here. I think I've... Um, Drilled, it showed up a moment ago. 25% of that contract was completed. Uh, let's see which one it was. Acquire 750 units of fresh ore from Mike. So, you know, we'll be out here for a while doing that one. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, we got the got the guys out here on the ship. Got them back on or back to Galena Station. They'll be taking trips down now to um, to the surface of Duna. So uh, stay tuned for that. Some uh, uh, atmospheric tests coming into the atmosphere of Duna. Um, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.